All right, so uh, digital sculpting and fun with Z-Spheres. Uh, Z-Spheres, uh, I don't know how many of you out there actually use Z-Spheres. I use it all the time. I, uh, everything about what I do is about the energy of having the original spark or the original idea and then moving forward as quickly as I can with that idea. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time kind of humming and hawing or trying to get a base mesh to where, uh, to where by the time I'm finished with that base mesh, I'm really no longer interested in it. In fact, I'm sure most of you out there have started a project at some point and never finished it. And really, if you start to analyze why it is, and uh, it's because you lost interest. It's because you, uh, you came across a technical hurdle that took you too long to resolve, or you came across a part of the sculpture that you didn't understand and it took you too long to resolve. So. Really, what I'm here to tell you is that Z-Spheres are really fabulous and powerful, and you can really create a lot of amazing things with Z-Spheres. So let's just have a look at how to create a humanoid really quickly with Z-Spheres. Just go and do, uh, into ZBrush, and um, I'm just going to select a Z-Sphere. I'm going to clear the canvas. I'm going to draw a Z-Sphere down. I'm going to change my draw size. And, and I'm going to um, go into edit mode, and I'm going to use X symmetry. Now, of course, I'm demoing here, and really what I want to get across is just the idea behind it. You can be as finicky as you want, but hopefully what, I, what you will understand is that we don't have to worry about topology at this point. Really what we want to worry about is just getting the base mesh up and running so that we can get sculpting and then worry about the topology later. So let's go ahead and actually draw a z-sphere up here and draw a z-sphere down here. And then we'll go into move. And let me just make my draw size smaller. And we'll move that up and we'll move that down. So, so far so good. Now, let's go back into draw and we'll draw two z-spheres there and we'll draw two z-spheres there. Now I'll go ahead and move those guys out and I'll go ahead and move these guys out. So I think you're starting to get the point of what I'm making. Pretty straightforward so far. So let's just go ahead and create a few more z-spheres just by clicking on the chain that I, in between, that I created. So with that, I can go ahead and create, move out the hips. I've created some knees, and I've created some elbows. And in fact, I can rotate this and just start actually positioning these things in a way that will accurately represent a, a more humanoid type figure. Now. Of course, our character is going to need hands. So let's go back into draw and just draw a z-sphere there. We'll draw a z-sphere there. We'll draw a z-sphere there. We'll go into move, move this guy out, move that out, and move that out. Again, pretty straightforward. Go back into draw. Let's click one there, one there, and then let's draw. Let's draw some z-spheres, some children to those z-spheres that we created. And again, let's move these guys out. So if we move that out, that out. We can clearly see that we've just created some fingers. Now, of course, he's going to need a hand, so let's go ahead, uh, excuse me, a foot. So let's just go ahead and put, let's just draw a z for there for the foot. Now, if I wanted to do toes, I could repeat the exact same process that I did up here. I'm not going to, but I just, just so that you know, we would basically do the exact same thing up here. So with that, I basically created this. Now, could I get started? with this uh, and sculpt, absolutely. This could get me there, but it isn't ideal. Of course, this section here isn't, uh, isn't really helping me in terms of once I start subdividing. So let's go back to here, go back to the draw, and just insert a couple more. And we'll insert a few more down here around the knee, and we'll insert a few more around the elbow. And if I go back to that, you can see that now I've got a much better mesh that will actually allow me to go in and start. And the idea, this is what, again, hopefully, Everything that I'm talking about today is about forward movement. The days of where we had to worry about technical stuff first and then art are on the way out. We're in a, we're in a, a process of transitioning and, and the transition is to think about art first, to do everything that you want within the art structure and then take advantage of the, of the app, take advantage of ZBrush to actually retopologize that mesh for animation. 
we have all these tools that are available to us that allow us to really go in and be able to create fantastic things really quickly. I, be, I was demoing and showing you this, and you saw how long it took me to do this. So clearly, if I was not demoing, and, and I was just straightforward moving through this, I could quickly create a base mesh that would allow me to go into work in under a minute. So Z-spurs are very powerful. They allow you to go from point A to point B very quickly and allow you to start working on what you want to be working, which is the art.